Salesforce Admin Interview Questions, Part 1 Q1. What is a sandbox SOG? What are the different types of sandboxes in Salesforce? Answer. A sandbox is a copy of the production environment slash org, used for testing and development purposes. It's useful because it allows development on Apex programming without disturbing the production environment. When can you use it? You can use it when you want to test a newly developed FOSS.com application or Visual FOSS page. You can develop and test it in the sandbox org instead of doing it directly in production. This way, you can develop the application without any hassle and then migrate the metadata to the production environment. Doing this in a non-production environment allows developers to freely test and experiment applications end-to-end. Types of Sandboxes Developer Developer Pro Partial Copy Full Sandbox Q2 What is relation between product and price book? Answer Product and price book are the standard objects in Salesforce. Each product object record can exist in multiple price book object records with different prices based on the business need. The relationship between product and price book is many to many. Price book entry object used to link a relation between product object record and price book object record. Price book entry acts as junction object between product and price book. Q3 what is the use of map lead fields in Salesforce? Answer When we convert qualified leads, the information from the standard lead fields appears in standard fields for contact, account, and opportunity records. If you created any custom lead fields that contain data that you wish to have transferred to contact, account, and opportunity records upon conversion then the concept of map lead fields comes into picture. In order to move the custom lead field value to account, contact, and opportunity record, we need to create a new custom lead field in all those object records and should use the map lead field option from lead object. Note. Date type for custom fields on both objects should be same. It is not possible to map a custom lead field to a standard Salesforce field. If you set a custom field to required on the account, contact, or opportunity object then we cannot create mapping from a lead field. The conversion will become an error. Q4. What happens when we convert leads in Salesforce? Answer. When you convert a lead, Salesforce creates an account, contact, and optionally an opportunity, using information from the lead you're converting. Account is a parent object. Contact and opportunity are the child objects to account object. After it's converted, a lead record is no longer searchable, unless your admin assigned you the view and edit converted leads permission. However, Converted leads to appear in lead reports. Salesforce updates the last modified date and last modified by system fields on converted leads when pick list values included on converted leads are changed. Q5 What is web to lead and web to case functions in Salesforce? Answer web to lead or web to case functions are tools that automatically capture leads or cases from an external website to Salesforce to create a lead or case record directly in Salesforce. These tools are used to generate a web form in HTML format with the Salesforce fields that retrieve the information from the record. The web form is then integrated on a website, for example a contact form on a merchant site. Note, 
required fields and data validation rules are not included in the web form. It is up to the web developer to make the fields mandatory when embedding the code on the website. Limits A maximum of 500 new leads generated per day via the web to lead and 5000 new cases generated via the web to case per day. Q6 What is a lookup relationship? Answer Lookup relationship creates a relationship that links one object to another object. Example, we can select the account record using lookup relationship field in contact object. Lookup field name is account name here. Account is the parent object and contact is the child object. Features, it is a loosely coupled relationship allowing us to connect one object to another in a one-to-many fashion. The parent object is not mandatory so the child object records are not get deleted when we delete the parent object record. Security settings like sharing, visibility, etc. of child objects are not allowed to control by parent object. We can create up to 40 lookup for one object. Q7 what is a master detailed relationship? Answer Master detailed relationship creates a special type of relationship between child and parent object. Similar to lookup relationship but with different properties. The parent object record is mandatory on all child object records. When user deletes the parent object record, all child object records are get deleted. Security settings like sharing visibility, etc. of child records are allowed to control by parent record. Whichever security setting you chose for the parent record, the child record inherits. We can create roll-up summary fields on the parent object record to summarize the child object records. We can create two master details per object. If we create two master details on object then the primary master detail controls the child record securities. Q8. What is field dependency? Answer. In Salesforce, field dependencies are filters that will let the users modify their content and control the value of one field dependent on the value of another. There are two other fields in field dependency which are Controlling field Dependent field Example, region, pick list, values, South India and North India. Controlling field, states, pick list, values, Andhra, Telangana, Karnataka, South India, Delhi, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, North India. Dash dependent field. Q9 What is a roll-up summary field? Answer. A roll-up summary field calculates values from related records, such as those in a related list. You can create a roll-up summary field to display a value in a master record based on the values of fields in a detailed record. The detailed record must be related to the master through a master detail relationship. For example, you want to display the sum of invoice amounts for all related invoice custom object records in an accounts invoices related list. You can display this total in a custom account field called total invoice amount. The functions of the summary field include count, calculates the total number of related records sum, totals the values of selected fields min, displays the lowest value max, displays the highest value. Q10. What are the read-only fields in the Salesforce? Answer. Auto number formula roll-up summary. Q11. What is an external ID in Salesforce? Which field data types can be used as external IDs? Answer. This is a field that usually references an ID from another external system.
external id uniquely identify a record outside of salesforce we use external id when we are integrating salesforce with an external application we can only choose auto number email number and text field as external id in salesforce records will not allow duplicates if we use unique id along with external id so external ids are often created with the unique id setting so that the external ids will be unique to each record q12 what are page layouts and record types in salesforce page layouts with page layouts salesforce allows you to control how salesforce pages are arranged and displayed you may be able to control the positioning of fields buttons custom links and related lists on any of the object record pages also page layouts determine which fields on object record pages are marked as read only or required record types record types allow you to create separate kinds of records for each object they control the page layouts pick list values available and other business logics to different users based on business needs a good example is a call center you'd likely need different fields visible and required for cases involving customers mortgages compared to car loans www.salesforcestart.com plus 919393943143